Hey, this is Ray from 8-Bit Digital TV, bringing you a quick tip for Adobe Premiere. If you've done much audio work in Premiere, such as synchronizing audio tracks to video, or adding sound effects or music, you've probably noticed that Premiere snaps audio and video to the frame level. Most of the time this is fine, but sometimes it can be noticeably off when you put it a partial frame early, or a partial frame late. If you're like me, you tried zooming it in all the way, holding down different keys while trying to move the track, all to no avail. The answer is right under your nose, my friends. On the Timeline panel, click the Almost Invisible Context menu, and then click Show Audio Time Units. You should see that it's now measuring things in seconds and milliseconds, rather than frames per second. Since audio time units are smaller than frames per second, you can zoom in even more. Now, simply move the audio track exactly where you want it. If you try to move video clips, they will still snap into place according to the frames per second timeline, but you'll have much more granular control over when the sound starts and stops. You'll probably want to change it back to the frames per second timeline once your audio is good. To do that, click the Timeline Context menu again, and uncheck the Show Audio Time Units. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip from 8-Bit Digital TV. Thanks for watching, and be sure to thumb up the video and leave comments if you want us to continue this series.